Si, senor. We are live. We're live. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Two Drink Minimum, the podcast that will show you its titties. But before we do so, let's go over to the man himself, the legend, Mike Ward. I am going to show you my titties. That was an amazing episode, by the way. It was a good French For, cast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your French cast with uh, I Am Ellie. You should have uh, been there. If you didn't nice have to go to the, she does, if you if you weren't uh, at the vet, I'm telling you, it would have been the perfect episode. But she's willing to come back yeah. if you're going to be on, so we could do. A, I'm I'm too married though. <laughs> you don't have to just talk so we can hang out. You're not gonna you're yeah. not gonna date her. But yeah, but I, I'll want to. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll show up and I'll be like, here. Can you hold this for me? <laughs> just don't tell her I'm a wife. <laughs> She was a great girl, by the way. I'll tell you. I'll tell you all about yeah. it. But before yeah, we do seems... that, let's just point uh, to Poseidon, yeah. the Titmaster 650, who did something weird on the podcast that we're going to clip and show you guys in a bit. Yeah. And now let me go back to Mike. Yeah. So uh, you you showed your tits, right, Poseidon? Yeah. That, that's that's the, that's the rumor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, he showed his tits before. We have we've got many YouTube videos. On uh, the Pantel's comedy channel with Poseidon showing his tits. Yeah, it's true. My pepperoni nips, as mm. they say. Yeah. Yeah. It, one time you pretended to be a corpse on a morgue so that uh, uh so I can get uh, the, the morgue people can the morticians there can try to rape you. Yeah. Um. And when we made fun of the uh, that music video by Childish Gambino. Yes. You were naked. Doing ta, 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 ta. And another instance, I think. I think oh yeah, many instances. If there's an excuse instances. for you to show your nipples, you do it. Yeah, I don't know why I'm like that. You have the same nipples as Cardi B. <laughs> you, you do have Cardi yeah. B nipples. I'm Cardi P. <laughs> yeah, yes, Cardi P. You're Cardi P. <laughs> I mean, he, he's a whack ass pussy. I'm gonna <laughs> stop. <laughs> <laughs> but for I'm those that didn't see your episode, uh, you um, you were with the girl that uh, was was in the news here in Montreal yeah. for uh, taking a picture, uh, like her grad picture. With uh, her tits out. Yeah, and uh, she was getting a lot of flack for it because the at first the university wanted to sue her for 125 Gs, but the arguments kind of didn't make sense because first they said it was defamation, then they said, uh, uh, what did they say? They said, oh, she's making money by using our logo, but no logic, and that's how I open up the podcast, no logical person is going to believe that people bought Paid for memberships. Because of the logo? Because of the logo. They paid for the tits. Yeah. Like, are we all crazy? They're, Why would you lie? Yeah. And then they They're, said, well, it's our copyright. And then we find out they never registered the logo. They didn't actually own it. Really? Yeah, the school over there, they're very bad at what they do. They're very dumb, yeah. yeah. I was happy, though. She got a lot of support from a bunch of, uh, from a bunch of gradu- graduates. Like, I saw there was a hashtag, uh, Papa Ucam. Yeah. Like, for Daddy Ucam, which is the name of the university. <laughs> And it's all graduates showing their tits or showing their asses. The only thing that was kind of weird, though, she's a very hot-looking girl. Yeah. And everyone in that hashtag was just frumpy, disgusting fucking dentists and whoever graduated from that school. Well, you know what's fucked up is that I noticed that uh, – because I would have – assume that a lot of people would not like so you know if you don't like it's different you don't have to like only fans or pornography or anything like that. you don't have to like any of that shit but you don't have to attack her but i saw messages like i remember there's one woman who's whatever hasn't fucked up nose i think she did on my post on facebook who was just talking so much shit oh you shouldn't show off your tits and it's not it's like yeah but look at the difference right you obviously shouldn't show off your tits if you care about people you wouldn't show off your fucking face you yeah. don't look like her. You, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, of course you think that way. Of course you think she yeah. shouldn't show off her tits. You shouldn't be allowed in public. So that's yeah. why she's saying that. So I saw, like, a lot of negative comments. And even some people that were like, oh, uh, this is disgusting. She should hide her tits or whatever. But they're the same people that if she was 350 pounds, they would support her and call her brave. Yeah. She's so brave. Look at <laughs> yeah, how brave she is. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. but because That's she's hot, like, this is terrible. This is terrible. What's with this hypocrisy? I don't, I, I don't know, bro. We're living weird, oh. strange yeah. times, bro. She didn't hurt I, anyone. Let her do what she wants. I had, I had the weirdest fucking comment about your podcast. Uh, my, um, my Amazon guy. Your Amazon the guy, guy that delivered my package. Yeah, the guy that he, like the whatever in, in telecom or whatever. So he, he rings, I pick up, and then he sees me. And he goes, hey, uh, in French, he goes, hey, I listened to your, your friend uh, Pantelis' podcast with that girl. And I'm like, really? He goes, yeah. He's like, that's fucking crazy that she's pulling her tits out. 
everywhere. He goes, that's f- what the fuck is wrong with the world today? And then people wonder why I want to commit suicide. And he laughed. <laughs> wait, so wait. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck did the, my, my fucking my Amazon guy just tell me he wants to commit suicide? <laughs> <laughs> this is incredible. What the yeah. fuck kind of a random thing to say is that? Yeah, it was just, I think he just wanted help and he didn't know how to segue into the suicide <laughs> thing. Dude, me and Ellen, we have the uh, the raw footage that's not uh, that doesn't have her tits covered. Tell the guy if he doesn't want to kill himself, we'll send him links to look at her tits, dude. <laughs> Why would you kill yourself because she's showing her boobs on my podcast? Honestly, when she showed no her tits, idea. I was like, I got too much to live for. <laughs> Me, it was the opposite effect. I don't know about this yeah. guy, but like. No, he was, he was talking about the, the showing her tits uh, on on uh, like OnlyFans. He, I don't know. He was just a fucking weirdo. It's But the thing is, it's unrelated. These are the kind of things that even if you're not into it, you don't have to be. These are mm. things that you don't have to go. You don't have to see them. You you have to try to see her tits. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you don't want to see her tits, just don't see her tits. That's it. Yeah. I, I don't understand what the and you I would have if she I, was a I, bitch, I, like I would have because we had her here before after the podcast. If she was a bitch, it would have been a different story. But I'm telling you, we, we got to talk with her at length. Bro, the girl's a total sweetheart. Mm. Like I felt bad for shitty comments, people that were making shitty mm. comments. Mm. Super, super nice girl. But it's the one thing I noticed that I was really happy for her is, uh, and I've noticed this a lot lately, um, like uh, chicks that are on OnlyFans seem to all support each other. Like I, I saw uh, she she has a lot of support from uh, from uh, like um, uh, like uh, Insta Insta babes and uh, everyone on OnlyFans. I so mean, I thought that was nice. Her OnlyFans, much like our podcast here, is being held up by hookers. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they love us. They love her. That's what keeps us going. I love them all too. Yeah, <laughs> Poseidon brought them here. Yeah, <laughs> we should start since Poseidon's always showing his nipples. Why don't we start a OnlyFans? Since we don't have a, we don't have a Patreon. We, you want to do a two drink minimum OnlyFans where you ne- you'll get episodes yeah. early, but you also might get some Poseidon nipples. Yeah. There's no way anybody would pay for my nipples. I think people will pay us to not yeah. show them your nipples. <laughs> this you might be have, a new we, form. We can do a thing for the $5 you, you get the episodes and uh, and uh, Poseidon sends you dick pics. And then for $10, he stops sending the dick pics. Yes, they, I love this. <laughs> we are the future. Oh, Every, everyone just signs up for ten dollars right away. <laughs> Mike, I don't know if you noticed something that happened during that episode. I want to bring it up because some people noticed, some clever, clever guys noticed, and uh, some people didn't. So, Poseidon, if you could just bring up first the first time that she showed her boobs on the podcast, yes. I want people to notice something. By the way, I got text messages about, uh, "Hey, man, how did you keep your cool? What, like, what did you think you I mean? was gonna do?" The, you acted. Are these, you acted very professional. But what did you think I was gonna do? Are these people rapists? Yeah. Like yeah. who what? the fuck goes? Hey man, good job not raping her Look. while the camera was rolling. No, they just. No, there was no, They just said like I didn't make a like a big fuss out of it. But like, yeah, it's my fucking guest that's on the show. Yeah. yeah. And I, I was. I, I feel like I was pretty professional too. But I well, got. Hold on. I'm I, gonna prove that you weren't. But right hold now. on. Hold on. I got a brilliant idea. Is what. Hold happened. on. So this is the first time. <laughs> You have to see this, Mike. So this is the first. This is a video we could play because I'm not going to copyright myself. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Hold so on. Uh, th- this is the first time that uh, if Poseidon, because uh, you're going to bring it up for Mike. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully the volume works. If it doesn't, at least he's seen is it, it. This before. one. Um. You only have one one video of it. Yeah. I think it's this one. Do you know when each time is? Yeah, I already set up the times. Oh, what a kid! I All think right. It's, is it this one? Yeah. Yes, it's this yeah, one. There we got it. We got it. Screen. Got it. Bring it in for the uh, the viewers at home. Yeah, she has a very young looking face. Oh, she's cute. She's like cute she's as hell. got a uh, uh, like almost a baby face. Yeah, yeah, no, like she's cute. like a seventeen, eighteen, like sixteen year old face. No, no, she looks in her twenties. Like I, we saw her in real okay. life. She looks in her twenties. Doesn't maybe it's because of the the camera, like the way it looks online. Like I don't know, but no, she looks like a hundred percent adult, uh, but bright. Yeah. Okay. All uh, right. All right. And we're gonna press play. Is this the first time she's Yes. Yeah. 
So, so, so tout le temps fait ça. I can't hear anything. Anyway, she's saying I've always done this. Oh, that's I've weird. Always... I, I shared the song. Oh yeah, and there's uh there's something in that scene that I thought was really funny because she goes, I, uh, people always say that's exactly you. I always take a, yeah take my tits out, and then you say in French come ici, meaning uh, like here. Yeah. But for some reason, I thought you were you were speaking in English, and I thought you had said. <laughs> Can I see? Oh. <laughs> like you couldn't see. You know? yeah. like, <laughs> Call me see means like here because she just did yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. But I, by the way, Mike, I reheard this part and I heard I heard it too the first time and I laughed because I heard I heard. Uh, can I see? Can I see? Yeah. I was like, what a weird way to turn into English now. And Call plus, you 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 like you say it half a second after she's already showed her tits. <laughs> it doesn't make any so sense. It looks like you're just slow. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So she says basically it's her it's her it's her trademark but sign just press yeah, play yeah, okay, what are you doing because no, mike was talking show the tits. she show goes i show them everywhere for, uh, i'm doing translate and tits. then she goes i do whatever even here yeah. so i blocked <laughs> it out obviously so that we don't, and i said oh. call me see not, not can i see anyways so she showed this right you see she's on camera she showed this mm-hmm. so a few minutes later poseidon you know where to go yeah i'm gonna uh, close this so he had seen her tits and then he does this we're having a conversation right. Sussing fucking business day. plan Oh wow, j'avais pas ma pensée. Ouais, je pense juste, uh, I'm sorry. Juste, uh, on, on, j'ai pas capté. I didn't uh, get your tits the first time you showed them. Quand, ah. Oh, you, you were on me? Uh, well, <laughs> yeah. And then she pulls him out again, but the son of a bitch was on her the first time. That's the thumbnail. He was tricking her. <laughs> He was tricking her. Non, mais tu sais, une bonne idée. To get, did you catch that, Mike, the first time you did it, that he was tricking her? No, no. Yeah, a lot of people didn't catch it. Some wise uh, wizards wrote about it. Yes. They sent me messages. I didn't know until after the show was done. Yes. And he's like, hey, can I tell you something? <laughs> I was like, yeah, what's up, man? You know when she showed her tits? I was like, yeah. He's like, I was looking at them. I was like, yeah, I expected you were. He's like, no, no, no. The first time. But I was looking at them through the screen. And then I thought, I want to look at them in real life. So I, <laughs> <laughs> so I asked her to pull them out again so I could stare at her. I was like, Poseidon, this is why we can't have good guests. <laughs> this is borderline unacceptable did, behavior. Yeah. Imagine if he does that, if we get Gad sad. Yeah, oh, I'm, I'm actually, it's funny that you mentioned Gad sad. I'm actually working on getting him. Okay. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> yeah, he tells us anything to Gad. He's like, Gad, there's a trend here on these podcasts <laughs> where people just whip it out. Fuck. People are very stupid. Um, uh, I, I just want to say this short thing about Gad We, we don't need another one. Oh, my, we just my, my, my wife has a restaurant right on the South Shore. And uh, it, we, ha- we have like a fake, um, like a fake Big Mac with, uh, with Impossible Burger in What's it. What's it called? It's, it's, uh, we call it the Big Gad because it's a copy of a Big Mac. And it's a, we called it the Big Gad because of Gad El Malay. Okay. So I thought that, you know, but everyone that, that uh, heard that, you know, thought it was a funny name for a burger. But then I saw a guy online. He tagged Gad Sad and he was like, look at these people. They're talking shit about you. What? And I was like, what? Like, that's not calling it a big Gad isn't has nothing to do with Gad, with Sad. Gad Sad. And then someone tagged me after. And I was like, that's fucking insane. That's like if. People are talking about Mike Tyson and they'd tag me. Yeah, dude, people are fucking insane. In the French podcast yesterday, someone commented and called me a racist because I made a, a joke about bombs in Japan. Mm. And they okay. said it was an a, a Asian racism yeah, or something. A- Asian racism at its finest. Yeah, at its sure. finest, which no, trust me, I could do better. Uh, <laughs> but I was just shocked. And what's funny is th- this stupid clown is saying this and both shots that you get of the podcast, yeah. both include my favorite stuff in art and both are Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> one is behind the guest, it's the Ronin Warriors, and one's behind me, Hideo Kojima's Metal Gear Solid. So it's just idiots. Idiots are scrolling through, like, oh, this word, this word, bam it, he falls on this, what? imbeciles. Yeah, fuck. And the joke I, that I said was about how, because you're saying how people have weird sex fetishes, and then I said, like, what? I go Because I know in, like, Japan, they have some crazy weird shit they believe in. I go, but after dropping two nuclear bombs, you'd expect shit to get crazy, mm. you know? Mm. And then apparently that was offensive. Really? Yeah, God by the way, damn, they didn't drop the bombs on themselves. The Americans dropped yeah. the bombs on them. Yeah. So That's <laughs> racist against Americans. Yeah, yeah, that's what they don't get. They didn't, and a lot of people are like, no, it's like, yeah, they didn't drop the bombs on themselves. You guys realize this, right? They're not crazy. Yeah. But also, I don't think yeah. it's just the bombs. I think it's also, like, like, they're very, like, an honorable society. And very, like, publicly, they're very, like... 
he's going nowhere with you this. I just realized. Yeah. I realized also just now. He wanted to jump in. He's like, Keep I haven't been hurt for a while. No, but like, forget it. Keep going. You're talking about uh, <laughs> Japanese people that are very noble. Explain uh, no, six no. animated penises. Well, okay. What was going What was going through my head is they're very like uh, shut out. Like in, in, in public, it's like. Vending machines with panties, yeah. They're very classy. <laughs> Whenever they 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 have sex, it's always blurred. <laughs> and a lot of semen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of semen at the end of every porn movie. I had this thought like yes. You didn't have a thought. <laughs> that was the issue. The issue here was that no thought was given. <laughs> You want to see some real racism? Yo, Saturday Night Live went full racist. Yo. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know. We I don't know if you can show the clip because they're gonna. Yeah. We'll paraphrase. Or can it. you just yeah describe it? Because anyway, yeah. whenever you show a clip, I can't hear it. And yeah, then yeah. I can't hear We're just gonna guys. paraphrase yeah. it. So basically, it was every black cast member. I don't know who wrote it though. Was doing like um, it was like a talk, not a talk, a game show type of thing. Mm. Oh, and the thing with uh, would you uh, the question was get would you get the vaccine? Yeah, and and they're asking the black people, would you get the vaccine if we give $5,000 and this and that? And they're making it seem, I guess it's propaganda. I don't know if they got paid by the government, but they're making it seem like black people in America, the only reason why they're not getting vaccinated is because they're too dumb. Like they're making it seem like they're all, they'll have dumb reasons. When in reality, when the government was testing shit on black people, like they have a reason to be sketched out by yeah. vaccines. Mm. But instead, they're like, huh, you're an idiot if you don't get it. And like, what in the fuck is going on? Like, you could have a campaign and try to push people without being condescending and being like, you're dumb. That's not the reason why. The, pe the reason why people aren't getting it, black people don't want to get it, let's say, it's not because they're fucking stupid. Mm. It's incredibly racist that they would do shit like that. But because it's NBC, nobody bats a fucking eye. No. It's interesting, yeah. like... They they, they 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 don't get called out for that shit, and then people will fucking complain about a little joke. You yeah, made. they'll complain about jokes, but they don't complain about that. That shit's overtly, you know. Yeah. That so I was watching that, and I showed, and I even showed him just to say, I go, hey, what do you think of this? And Poseidon, who is a bit of a nitwit, was like, hey, isn't this a little racist? Poseidon said that. So if he felt that, and it was an entirely black cast, just imagine. Yeah, it was it was very weird to see that. I felt bad. I was like. Yeah, yeah, whoever doesn't uh, want to get the vaccine, they're cautious. It's because they're they're idiots. That's the only reason. Yeah, uh, that makes sense. I didn't see any. Ra I I saw that and I didn't think it was racist. No, but. that they were the reasons why they don't want to get the vaccine is all dumb. No, but it was just because uh, I figured it was uh, you know since uh, like black people have been so fucked with vaccines in the past. But exactly that. But that's the truth of it. That's why most of them don't yeah. trust anymore. But that's not what they were saying. They were saying I don't need it because I wear my socks when I go to sleep. Yeah. Uh, I don't like dumb. That's what I'm saying. Is instead of it having a valid reason, they're like any reason you have is stupid. No, nah. that's what they were trying but to do. That's how people are, though. In like, that's very 2021 or even 2020, 2019. Anyone that doesn't think exactly like you do is an idiot. Yeah, yeah, that's what that's, that's what we've come. I fucking miss the old days that you could just hang out with someone that would thought that total opposite of you and you it didn't end up in a weird fight yeah do you remember debates used to be like that like actual debates yeah. on shows and then they used to chill and hang out yeah. now yeah. it's like he's the enemy and even like not even debating just fucking hanging out yeah i used to have like, a lot of friends that we viewed shit like a, yeah we'd argue about it and then we'd laugh and yeah. how did it come to this though that Oh well, uh, again, every if has somebody believes something different than you, the the last couple of years is they're evil, they're the enemy. It's yeah. an evil communist, it's an evil uh, Nazi, it's an evil racist. So it built everyone up who has an opposing opinion to be such a super villain yeah. that there's no way you can have a civil conversation with them. They're the bad guy. I mean, look at how we react. Like mm. I, I was surprised all the articles about the girl showing her tits. Mm. People were outraged, all of, uh, one way or another. They were talking about it more than they were talking about a goddamn curfew. Were adults with a curfew, and they were more passionate about hey, why is this girl showing her tits? Which imbeciles, mm. imbeciles. Which, by the way, I think that he's gonna roll it back to eight p.m. from nine thirty p.m. I, th I don't think it's announced yet, but in oh Montreal, shit, yeah. I, I, I well, did you guys watch what he said today at five? No, because he was supposed to announce something major. Someone told me that they're just closing gyms on Monday. They're uh, and schools apparently they're changing the rules around and gyms they open them basically for ten days and they're closing them April sixth. Are we all gonna get charged for the month again? I have no clue, bro. Honestly, this is getting very annoying. Yeah. Did you did you see that guy in Quebec City? 
that got a hundred. <laughs> I don't know how much he's up to now, but he's gotten a hundred and twenty-eight people infected so far in his gym. Oh yeah, and I he, heard. Yeah, that they and he's it spread everywhere. Yeah, and he was super vocal, like he, like the <laughs> before he was like, "This is crazy. No <laughs> one ever has gotten fucking the uh, the virus from a gym. You have to open up. There's no danger. There's no danger." But he didn't. He, it was a gym that he didn't wipe anything ever in fact he and, licked everything <laughs> yeah and he he had a, a like uh when you entered his gym he had a, a sign saying that if you didn't want to wear a mask you didn't have to so he was like just you know he was asking for trouble that's kind of that's when people overdo it yeah yeah like or, or he didn't believe in the virus also or something yeah like i'm or? mad about the yeah. curfew and stuff but just because i'm mad at it and the curfew shouldn't be here. The curfew is completely insane. It doesn't mean that the virus isn't a real thing. No. Mm. You, know, you know what I mean? Just because no. you don't like what somebody says to you, it doesn't mean it's not true. No. Yeah. And we're, but we're, and we're still the only place in North America that has a curfew. By yeah, the, the curfew is completely absurd. The curfew, yeah. the curfew is, and, I, and I, I have a podcast coming out tonight. I had Viva Fry on, and you know, he, was, he was a lawyer, and he became a YouTuber, and he said the same thing. It's, uh, it's completely unconstitutional, and it's not really helping. There's no science to back it. They're yeah. just doing it to be like, look, we did something. And we don't want gatherings. So you basically, you're paying an innocent person. You're paying for the mistake of someone else, essentially, mm. which is nuts. We're not a sports team. We're not all going to yeah. do sit-ups. Like if my neighbor robs a bank, I shouldn't have to go to jail. Yeah. <laughs> it's completely yeah. insane. Yeah, it's getting crazy, bro. Yeah. Mm. It's the world we live in. How are the French podcasts doing? How's the live? Uh, good. We're, yeah, it's going real well. We started uh, selling tickets again. Mm -hmm. I did uh, 15 shows this week. Fuck. Dude. Like, it's crazy. Like, I, that's what I was telling um, my manager on the way back from last night's shows. I was like, I don't think there's a comic in North America that's done as many shows as I had this week. It's... Like I did 12, uh, 12 uh, stand-up shows and – or sorry, 13 stand-up shows and two live podcasts. Holy shit, dude. Yeah. I, I'm and only they doing... were fun. The crowds are so – Oh, they want to be there. People are so happy, so happy. Like I've, like I've never uh, – there was one of the shows I did. There was only 31 people. And it felt like my best show ever. And I don't even know if it's because it, it, it was like actually an amazing show or just because I was so happy to be there and people are so happy. So there was this fucking vibe in the room that was amazing. Like people, people haven't been out of their house in a fucking year. So people are losing their minds. So just being out laughing with other people feels amazing. I'm, I'm thinking about it on Saturday, Jean, uh, not Jean Thomas, um, uh, Thomas Levac was here earlier today and uh, he invited me to do uh, two sets on Saturday. Oh, nice. Yeah, I think he's doing it on Theater St. Catherine, so I'll do two sets in French. I haven't done stand-up since October. Fuck, you're so, yeah. going to love it. Yeah, yeah, I'm just happy to get fucking back, dude. Like it's, mm. uh, uh, I've been waiting for so long. I got shit I want to try to work out again, try yeah. to talk about. So I'm fucking mm. psyched about that. But I've been podcasting so much, Mike. I've been having so much fun, French and English. Uh, my French has been getting better. The English guests are having fun. Um, I got to admit that because of this year, it did push us to go hardcore into podcasting mm. and we took it to another level. So everything that we're doing is fucking amazing. Yeah, it's mm. a positive in that sense. My producing has gotten better. It, it actually has. It's uh, even though that's why we were late today for people that don't know the 15 minutes because yeah. I just wanted to get him some stuff to connect two monitors and shit so I could, I could try to make his life easier when he's editing and doing all that shit. Um, and they delivered to the wrong building. Long story. Uh, so even him, yeah, he's been putting in so much work beside him. We yeah. love fucking with him, but the kid's trying. Yeah, he's trying his fucking best. And uh, yeah, and you know, the further we progress, the more I'm gonna reinvest in more equipment and myself also. So I'll be able to take on more personality. Uh, Will you get a boob job? Uh, no, <laughs> more responsibilities. I want to say. I don't know why I said boob job. <laughs> Look for the right price. I mean, I don't know. Bro. For real though, we should start <laughs> the the OnlyFans. Yeah, we could. I don't give a shit. Oh, yeah, okay. it, it, it'd be it'd actually be funny. Yeah, we should do it. <laughs> I'm not sending out any dick pics though. No, what? We never said that. That was all you. <laughs> Did or we mention dick pics this episode? We never said dick pics. You oh. just said yourself. You're like, I'm not gonna send out any dick pics though. Uh, no, no, you How said it in the beginning. It's pictures of you with a bra and your dick like between your legs, but uh. in the back, so it makes it look like you have a vag. Or even better, what if we never show you? We take dick pics of you, but we we not blur it out. We put something over it, 
like my face or Mike's face and stuff like that or the logo. So we just keep people guessing, wanting more. They're like, Rrr. nah, I'm good. Or things that are super <laughs> small, like a, just like a, like, like a, a, like a popcorn, like a that house has key, a like a peanut, like a house key, <laughs> <laughs> a peanut. No, 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 one of those, one of those keys that girls used to have with their little diaries, yeah. <laughs> or a tic tac, <laughs> cover with like the just tic-tac. this. The, uh, just the, like a, a like an iPhone plug. A yeah, yeah plug. just that a microphone <laughs> plug, headphone jack is just hanging there. Yeah. And like, eh. <laughs> His girlfriend's so, freaking out. Eh, say so, what's So fight. you started doing uh, the the um, the the French podcast with your girlfriend. Ah, uh, yes, yeah. Uh, well, again, not uh, whatever. Uh, with your <laughs> lover. <laughs> She's uh, not my girlfriend. She's my lover. I like that new show, uh, Annabelle La Bête in French. So it's basically that's a good name. Yeah, yeah. it Beauty was her idea. Yeah, it was her oh. idea. It's basically in bed with Poseidon, but in French. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we shoot the shit. We have fun. Uh, I'm trying something different on the production side uh, on the show. We had our first. He's episode. trying something different. It's called not producing. It's interesting. Oh no, <laughs> but, but I have. I mean, like you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, first episode was last Thursday. We had a good time. It was a good episode. And uh, this one's gonna be good too. And to oh oh also, in bed with Poseidon is moving uh, to Wednesdays at four p.m. as of this week. So tomorrow is gonna be another in bed with Poseidon on the Patreon. On the Patreon. And then Thursday's the French one. Thursday's the French one. So they're back to back. Wednesdays four p.m. English. Thursdays four p.m. French. Back to back the way he likes it, Mike. He finally saw Pretty Woman, by the way. Oh yeah, I did. Oh really? By himself. Did you like he, it? he sat here during a movie night yeah. and watched it with the fans. I cried a lot. Did you get emotional though, or no? No, I didn't get emotional, but uh, I liked it. It was a nice movie. What did you like about it, it Pretty was, Woman? It was cute. That's it. That's all you got. What yeah. did you? What made you feel? Well, I like the I like I like the scene where he walks into the store. To the store. To the store. Yeah. And he's like, uh, he's like, uh, like he's telling the, the you know the store clerks or whatever. Yo, uh, this whole maho. No, you you need to do yeah. a lot of sucking up. Like I found that very entertaining, and they were just like fucking going like, oh yes, of course, sir. You know, <laughs> like that was very entertaining. Were you, were you sad that at the end she stops being a prostitute? You had a future, Julia <laughs> Roberts. <laughs> you stupid bitch. You fucking bitch. Why did you, you ruin ruined such a promising career? <laughs> I thought it was a good movie. I liked it. It was nice. It was uh, a nice little romantic. It was, it was wholesome. It was wholesome. I liked yeah. the. Um, I also liked the, uh, the, the, the scene in the restaurant, the dinner. You gotta tell us. We haven't seen With Pretty Woman in yeah, twenty years. You're bro. talking like we saw it le- okay, yesterday. Because he's on a, he's a scene seventeen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, because he's basically he's a, he's a corporate vulture. Like he'll he'll basically buy up companies for cheap and then break them apart. That's not somewhere. what a corporate vulture is. Isn't that what it is? No, no. It's a guy who uh, holds the meetings at corporate events, and he walks and goes, ah! <laughs> ah! That's what he does. <laughs> he's a corporate. That's Whenever, what he you didn't see that scene. He walks in. He's <laughs> he's wearing a fucking mask. He's got a cape. <laughs> <laughs> there's like an old Spider-Man. CEO. <laughs> yeah. There's an old CEO that dies, and then he eats him. Yeah, yeah. He starts doing this. Like, <laughs> 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 a corporate vulture. He's just a classy vulture. He's a vulture. He walks in with a suit. That's no, what it is. No, but that's 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 what they're called, I think. And uh, yeah, yeah. And there's one scene where he meets up with the owner of the company and uh, the owner's son. And there was a whole interaction there. I found it funny. Like she. What didn't, was the interaction? Like she didn't know what utensils were what because she's not used to that. Uh, because uh, she's a whore. She's not, <laughs> she's not used to that high society life. Because but you as are. They call it. Huh? But, but you that's are. A, that's you know, fucked up. When you saw that, the forks, that. did you know you're like, what a stupid bitch? <laughs> the salad I fork dummy. That when I was little, and I grew up poor, and but like not understanding spoons and forks is borderline retarded. No, no, but there's a specific way when they have them all on the. But you always start from the outside and work your way in. Oh, is that what you do, or you start from the inside yeah. out? I don't know. Well, two. two. No, it's always outside in. I have no idea. Two prong, yeah. two pronged is shrimp. Three prong is salad, and four prong is everything else. Yeah, the thing is, oh, I'm really? okay. I'm a rebel who has boobs on his podcast. I grab a fork and a spoon the way I see fit, and I eat whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> That's how that works. What are you gonna tell me, waiter? You don't want to tip? Don't judge me. I actually found it funny also because like 
it's kind of like a like our situation, like if uh, Annabelle and I. Oh, and it's kind of like your situation. It's, but he's but, the but he's on. the he's the uh, but hold on. successful high society no, 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 no. type, but she's the dumb who. No, 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 it's like but me and reverse. Annabelle. No, 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 no. But if the hooker you and the let one me that made the most money yeah. was the same person, <laughs> you didn't let me finish. But the, but the reverse, the roles are reversed. Okay, so she's trying to teach you. Yeah, she's hey. teaching me how to be more of a gentleman and you know, uh, be like you know. Poseidon, don't eat soup with your hands. <laughs> Tabarnak, you embarrass me. And next time I bring you McDonald's, this is not good. And I, I'm more of the, the, the street uh, the street fucking sloppy fucking, you know? Street sloppy. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm homeless. I just walk in there, ripped shirt, ripped underwear, ripped bro, shoes. I'm a bandana, bro. My hair is a mess. Look at me, bro. <laughs> hey, what happened to you? Heroin. So <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid. She's trying her best to be classy with you. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to do the, the piano scene, but in reverse. I lie down on the piano and she has to... Well, no, because that <laughs> the piano is going down if you lie down on the piano. It's no longer a piano. It's a pile of wood. <laughs> every scene you've mentioned, I always think it's from another movie. Like the piano scene, I was picturing Tom Hanks in Big... Uh, the restaurant scene I was picturing uh, um, when Harry met Sally. What's a piano scene in Pretty Woman? It's uh, when when uh, I forgot I forgot the the his name in the movie, but Richard Gere, his character, he's like super stressed out and shit, and he's playing the piano for a bunch of hotel workers. Okay. And then she comes and sees him, and then he tells the hotel workers, leave. Not like that, but he asks them to leave. Kind. I like that. That's how Poseidon in his head, powerful, <laughs> like just imagine. He's like he goes. Away with you. <laughs> Leave us. Like Poseidon with money is just a fat asshole. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Poseidon had money, that's all it would be. Like, Garcon. Garcon. And the guy's like, dude, this is a foot locker. Like, nobody does this here. Oh, no, no. I, I'm like, croissant. Croissant. Imagine yeah, yeah. croissant. It's, it's, and then yeah. he goes, it's like, it's Garcon. Whatever, I don't know. He, she. I don't want to offend you. <laughs> all, uh, all of the hotel employees are, are like, why is this rich asshole playing the piano? <laughs> because you yeah, because you have decided. Bam, 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 bam. Sir, you don't know how to play the piano, but I'm rich. <laughs> and I'm looking for a whore. <laughs> you know what I used to do at my god sister's house? What? They used to have a piano and they go and they would play the piano and it was beautiful, right? And they go. Uh, you want us uh, to teach you how to play the piano? I'm like, mm. I already know how. Leave me alone. Uh, you know, because I'm always straight to the bullshit, even from a young age. Yeah. And uh, and then they go, uh, and then oh, they go right. okay, show us. Perhaps he's a savant. So yeah. then I would go, so now I'll pull off one of these. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna go, I'm just going to oh change the camera to me. I'll go. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I just kept fucking with my cousins. Gay, 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 gay. Gay, 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 gay. Queer, gay, 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 gay. Queer, queer, gay, gay, gay. Yeah, that's a, a good and song. Plus, that's a type of lie that, like, you, like, shouldn't you, like, tell a lie that you're not going to get caught in the first nine <laughs> seconds? <laughs> Oh, no, but yeah, I was really, pretending yeah. that no, I'm yeah. playing he, piano. Okay, there's a piano. <laughs> fuck, you got me. Yeah, yeah it's like the <laughs> dumbest know, lie ever. I just ever. wanted to fuck with him. <laughs> That's like him walking into a room where they could see him, and he's like, yeah, of course I'm a visible minority. <laughs> and I, Sir, we could see you. Well, look. All right, look, touche. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> I forgot to. <laughs> he walks out. Look, summertime comes along. I do look like a visible minority. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> oh, speaking speaking of uh, tans, Sri Lanka, my friend, mm. Sri Lanka banned the import of palm oil products. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm all about Sri Lanka, baby, baby. They're supporting the apes. I like it. Yeah, yeah. They, they like the monkeys. Yeah, I feel bad for those monkeys. You ever seen that those Do, videos? Uh, does like most of the palm oil goes uh, to Nutella, right? The, what I or, knew about it was Nutella. That's why I stopped eating Nutella. I was against their usage of palm oil. Uh, but I think other people, uh, I remember there was other products at the grocery store that were using palm oil. I have a list of products. Lipstick, pizza dough, instant noodles, shampoo, All kinds ice, of shit, yeah. ice cream, the detergent, mar margar blah, 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 margarine, Ma chocolate. Margarine. <laughs> margarine. <laughs> margarine. I can't believe it's not butter. Uh, ice cream, chocolate, packaged bread, soap, biodiesel, cookies. Yeah, we get we get that there's a lot of products. You don't have to go through the entire list. What are you, autistic? You, can't, you don't have to go through the entire list. We get it. God damn. God damn. I'm, I'm a little bit tired today. Yeah, the Sri Lankans, bro. Big win. I like that. Yeah, good yeah. for them. We should all follow suit. We should do what Sri Lankans do. And like uh, a company, like uh, who, who is it that makes Nutella? Is it Nestle? 
Nestle might own them. I don't know. Nestle owns but a lot of shit, dude. You figure, you figure though, like uh, palm oil has gotten such fucking bad press that they just try to find anything to replace it, even if it's fucking worse than palm oil. But, uh, like, but it doesn't have to be worse than palm oil. You could use something else. I and mean, fuck, they could use cum at this point. It'll be less. Yeah, but they like because uh, as before, people find out it's killing animals or whatever. Yeah, they they should change it. Like, because no one cared about palm oil before we knew about the monkeys. Oh yeah, we didn't know. I didn't know what the fuck palm oil yeah. was. Yeah, I didn't know. And then I saw the videos of them trying to push back the the bulldozers, and mm. I wanted to cry. I was like, no. Uh, the, the monkeys. Yeah, it's very sad, bro. They're they're having their life there, and we're bugging them. Like yeah. they're not bothering us. They're just chilling there, and then we're going to destroy their house. Like, yo, I need Nutella, bro. Uh-huh. Like, come on. Yeah. <laughs> like now we're overdoing it. Like there's, yeah. there's fucking limits, guys. Like, but Nestle's a, a a cunt of a company. Well, apparently the parent company is called Ferrero SPA. Oh, Ferrero Shea owns Nestle. Ferrero owns. Uh, Nutella. Oh, okay, Ferrero owns Nutella. That makes more sense. But Nestle is a cunt company. Nestle, mm. remember when the CEO, the head of Nestle, he they were talking about bottled water, like, uh, and he goes uh, that they should own the water. That uh, yeah. water is not a human right. Yeah, yeah, they're cunts. Hold on, wait, what? Really? Yeah, he wanted Hold to monopolize on. water, and he, and they're like, well, you can't monopolize water. Like people can't. Like it's a human right. He's like, no, it isn't. We can monopolize water. So fuck, it's not a human right. Yeah, he, they got a lot of flack for it. Yeah. God damn. That's like my father, but like he's a corporate rich. vulture. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that is a corporate vulture. Yeah. It's like your dad. What do you do about the water? Like you remember, he wanted to bottle water. Yeah, but your dad didn't want to s- not allow people to drink water. Your dad w- found a well that he assumed was magic and wanted <laughs> to bottle the water, even though he didn't own the well. So legally, he was in a pickle. Also, there's no magic. Um, so that was yeah. his issue. But he was not trying to stop people from drinking water. He's not a mad scientist. Yeah. Not even a he didn't own the well, but he wanted to bottle the water anyway. Oh, yeah. He was all about that well water, baby. baby. Uh. So he's not a corporate vulture. He's a corporate weasel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but actually, the, the well thing was pretty funny because uh, that was when you went to that deli well, thing, I, the I diner. St- yeah, I still can't believe that day, by the way. Every time every time I remember that day, it's like a dream. Yeah, you told me about it. Like, he made me, first of all, he never explained to me why we're going. Yeah, I know. Place. He told me, you're like, ah, I got, I, I'm out today. And I told him why. He goes, my dad called me and said verbatim, I got a business opportunity for you, my <laughs> son. I got to take you somewhere, but it's top secret. Don't tell nobody. And, he ca- and I, at first I told him no a few times. But he kept busting my balls, and then he got my mother involved and everything. <laughs> Your son's an idiot. I got a business opportunity with millions of dollars. This one come me. And then, first of all, it's like a two and a half hour drive. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. And then me, I like you know me. I like listening to music in the car, right? But, okay, before you go on, the reason why this is funny to me is because this was around the time, Mike. Remember when we were arguing with him? What his dad was telling him, like uh, people are stupid. I got the best ideas, and he was talking about a car where the uh, airbags are on the outside. It's like all these yeah. dumb ideas about the poison gas as an alarm in the house, so you kill everyone. Yeah. <laughs> like, so it was during that time. So Poseidon already had it up to here. Yeah. He was already angry, and then he goes, "Trust me, this idea." Foolproof. Spent three hours driving there with me. But hold on, <laughs> the drive was even worse because the, the, I don't forget I had to drive there and back. And my father hates music. Oh, the drive back must have been horrible. Yes, because the drive there, you're like, oh, he might surprise me. Yeah, there's hope. He might yeah, fucking a bit of maybe hope. Maybe he's gonna knock this one out of the park. But hold on, my father hates music. Okay. Who hates music? <laughs> Who hates music? Hold on, specific- how, is well, okay, that, okay. how is that a sentence? Hold on, he how, ha- that hold is on. scary. He hates music that I listen to. Okay, he doesn't like hip hop, uh, rap. He hates black people. Yeah, I was about to say yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's what it sounds like, bro. He hates music I like. He hates the the girls I like. He f- he yeah. hates the athletes I look up to. Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> he hates rap music except for Eminem. Yeah, yeah. He likes Eminem, <laughs> Machine Gun Kelly, and, uh, and 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 like yo, I'm just. He's a p- big local Locust fan. It's uh, <laughs> yeah. and uh, and I'm like yo, I'm just gonna play a bit of music. Like I wanna have a smooth drive. Don't talk much. I like driving and it's peace and quiet. Right? Did That's you what he- say don't talk much, or he said? Don't I told talk him. Much. I told him okay. to. Hold on. So he, he doesn't like music. You don't like talking. <laughs> you are the both perfect to be in a car together. So, hold on, so hold you on. guys agree. Like, yes, we're going to find a compromise to make sure that this two and a half hours goes on without a hinch. 
You can't play music. I can't talk. We're going to sit here silently, awkwardly driving for two and a half hours. You yeah. guys are both insane. So, But I told him from the beginning, I go to him, look, I know you don't like my type of music. Okay. I'm gonna He's play. like, it's not the music I don't like. It's the people singing it. <laughs> Why is it calling me? Uh, and then and then I go to him. Look, I know you don't. I'm just gonna play it low. I like that, you know. I like to have a calm drive. Just sit there, be quiet. Five minutes, bro, into the drive. Why the fuck you keep listening to these devil worshippers? <laughs> okay, so I'll say one thing. Your dad clearly has no problem with the race. He just doesn't like the message. Yes, I'm back on your dad's team. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Why? I don't agree with him. I love that music too. However, at least. He has a reason now that's not just like arbitrary. Hold on, wait. He doesn't uh, like the message. Well, hold on. You so right now me, I'm on team dad. Let's hold go. on, you didn't let me So finish. when he saw Nasdaq come out with those shoes, he was like, I knew it. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. My son loves him. <laughs> hold on, I didn't finish. And he goes, uh, and he goes, uh, they're all Satan worshippers and cultists, and they're all gays and lesbians. All right, look, okay. uh, I don't have I'm not a scientist, I can't disprove him. He, he might be right. <laughs> what do you want me to do? <laughs> so already I'm fucking annoyed as fuck. You're right. annoyed. Imagine if you were annoyed. Annoyed, An annoyed, okay. annoyed, annoyed. My apologies. And uh, and so he starts babbling. And you know how my father is when he starts. He doesn't even take a beat to breathe when he talks. Again, not the worst quality. <laughs> That's psychopath shit. It's not psychopath shit. The guy's trying to talk to you. He never. This is what happens. No. Because you ignore him, when he gets a chance to talk to you, You've ignored him for a month, let's say. He has to unload a month's worth of conversation. Yeah. It's your fuck up because you always ignore him. So now when he gets you, he's like, Brr, let me tell you everything I want to tell you, my son. But you, like an asshole, well, how, you how, ignore him, how, hang up on him, yell at him. You're the bad guy in this story. Well, how about when he talks to me? Jumping, <laughs> did you think about jumping out of the car? And like rolling? just opening the door and rolling out and hoping he hits a tree? For a second, yes. Okay. You're trying to kill your father, bro? Oh, no. I was trying to kill myself. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but go on. Okay, so. <laughs> and uh, and then uh, and then I got annoyed. I'm like, like, just stop talking, please. I want to enjoy the ride. You know what I mean? They're my friends. And so I turn up the volume really loud. Oh, okay, hold on. So you broke the rule. He oh, wants no Jesus music, and now fuck. you're playing, so you're playing I, devil I music. I some passive-aggressive shit. And then he starts. Wait, you put it really loud? Yeah, I put it really loud so I can't talk over the music. That's really loud. <laughs> but what was the song that I was playing? I don't remember, bro. It was the devil is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> so Doesn't then, everybody love the then, devil? Then, so because I lower the volume all the way, uh, I increase the volume, sorry, all the way up. Yeah. He, he, he gets frustrated and he gets annoyed and he sits there like a toddler, you know, listening. Can then, I just say something right there again? Win for your father. He could have acted like an asshole. Instead, he I'm kept his mouth done. shut. I'm not done. Right. Hold he on. could have lowered the volume. Yeah. Hold on. He could have punched you in your stupid face. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> and then and then I guess the song said like, I'm going to fuck your bitch, drugs, this, that. You know how some rappers He are. talking about my bitch? <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, oh, what the fuck is this? He goes, what the fuck is it? And he starts pulling a temper tantrum, bro, and punching my dash. Okay, look, the punching the dash, he, he, uh -huh. he went over the line. But before that, I mean, he can't be talking shit about bitches. I'm with him. Yeah. <laughs> Your dad's a feminist. That yeah. Was, uh, I'm with him, dude. He's supporting the ladies. I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. Punching the dashboard, a little excessive, but in his defense, how else are you going to get the devils out? So, <laughs> not all the way nuts. So then I'm sitting, I'm driving, I'm like, Yo, what the fuck? You know? Oh, is that all you did? A man is punching your dashboard saying, what the fuck is this? And Poseidon is like, Yo, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Yo, who this? So, but, but the thing is, to me, that doesn't scare me. It makes me want to laugh. I never we didn't think face. you were scared. No, no, I know. But I mean, maybe somebody else in my situation would be scared. You know, this lunatic's acting up. But like, <laughs> this lunatic's <laughs> acting up. <laughs> you know? Did you tell him to stop punching your fucking dashboard? No, I just re-increased the volume and started laughing. <laughs> really? El Diablo. Hey, you scared the shit out of him, bro. So Punching the dashboard is crazy, but then when someone's punching the dashboard, putting the volume up is mental. That's <laughs> worse than fucking yeah, you're punching. Insane. So, then, so then finally, anyways, after this fucking weird drive, uh, <laughs> we, we finally fucking make it there. It brings me to this fucking field. This is two and a half Your hours dad, away. Two and a half hours away. By the way, your dad knows how to close a deal. Like when you're trying to sell something something to someone, the trick is on the way there, 
punch the guy's car nonstop, yell at him, tell him his music is for fags. Yeah. <laughs> Salesman make of the him, year. <laughs> make him angry and then bring him to a secluded area. <laughs> Salesman and of the year, bro. Salesmanship 101. <laughs> He's employee of the month every month at his enterprise. <laughs> so then finally we get there and it's this huge field. And I'm like, and then. A field of dreams, I, some on. might say. Uh, or of uh, dead dreams, basically. Okay. <laughs> and then I get there, and already I see... What do you see? Hold on. I get very, very frustrated. What do you see in your horizon? Okay. I see this <laughs> big rectangular field. Rectangular? Mud, mud everywhere. Oh, shit. Mud? A trailer park right in the middle. A trailer park or just a trailer? Park or just a trailer? Oh, yeah. uh, a trailer, park. a trailer. Sorry. Just, just a, a lone just trailer. A trailer. A lone trailer. All right. You're building quite the sexy white trash scene. And uh, the... But the trailer, the the, the the husband and the wife are selling basically La Belle Provence style food out of. They're it. selling burgers, hot dogs, of the sort. Yes, Shitty now hot dogs. if it was a heavily residential area, I'd be like, okay, but uh, there's not a house in sight. This All is you see a is a random place in the this mountains. Is a random place in the mountains, a field, and then <laughs> just trees. Just trees, bro. And the local just, diner. Just trees. I'm like, bro, who buys food from here? And goes, Were there customers there? No. <laughs> <laughs> so I look around and look at him. I go, let me ask you a question. Who buys food from here? Oh, the locals. What well, fuck? <coughs> what well, fuck are locals, what bro? What the, the moose? What are you talking <laughs> what about? locals, bro? Yeah. <laughs> so anyways. So he's like, no, no, bear with me. Bear with me. Over here, we have this. And then you get the side of the thing across. I'm like, it's trees. He's like, yeah, you chop them down. Then you make a chop shop. I'm like, but- Hold on. No what does he think chop shop means? You chop the trees down and make a chop shop. He thinks no, no, a no. shop that chops down no, trees. No, no, no. Like a chop shop like for cars. There's no cars there. Nobody lives there. And I'm like, and does your dad know anything about cars? Like to open up a chop shop? <laughs> yeah, he fixes his own cars. He's actually pretty handy okay. with cars. Oh shit! He's actually a pretty good handyman. Nice. Okay. You know? But uh, even though I like making fun of him, <laughs> he's good with uh, buildings. Like he built his own patio. You know what I mean? His own bunker. I have yet to see it though. Okay. Is his patio technically a car though? <laughs> He took a car and he cut off the top of the car. It's just his Hummer. There's a patio. He's a, he sits in a, a old Ford Escort <laughs> and drinks in his yard. That's why he gets mad at you because he misunderstands when you say you're going out with an Escort. And he goes, "I have one. <laughs> you don't need to pay." And he goes, "Ah, you don't see the vision. You don't see the vision. Let me get you food." So he gets me food because you're hungry. Yeah. Your uh, dad is a drive? Snickers commercial to you. He's like, Poseidon. He's like, ha, <laughs> You're not yourself when you're hungry. We're going to get some hot dogs, some burgers. I'm like, okay, fine. So we He get does some, know how to treat you. Yeah, so we get some hot dogs and burgers. I'm like, okay, here goes. And look. You see this field? It's could all be yours. You see this uh, trailer? I'm like, yeah. He goes, wow, it's perfect for Greek festivals. The trailer, like festivals will happen inside a trailer? No, 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 on the field. And you will sell. It could be in the trailer because there's no Greek people yeah. that live close to there, so no. you don't need much uh, <laughs> like Wait, a big room. So your dad thinks that we're like, like a Nordic pan pagans that are gonna yeah, basically fondle in the woods. You know our panegyria that we have uh, the Greek festival downtown festival that everybody does. Yeah, downtown or in Park Extension. Yeah, that's in a city. Yes. Who's gonna drive throws away to be one with nature? First of all, does he not know Greeks? They're just gonna complain the whole way. <laughs> Look what the fuck is this? And this is a trailer. What was his idea? All we have to do is kill that family. <laughs> <laughs> this is all ours. There's no witnesses here. And, uh, was that the plan? No, no, no. And, uh, was murder in the plan? No, no, no. There was no, okay. never any murder. And uh, so he starts negotiating the price. What What price? Hold on. Who? The price of the f uh, the, 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 the uh, territory. The food? With you? Okay. With, uh, well, with the owner of the trailer. He asked some random guy in a trail in the woods, can oh, I buy this land? Apparently he had spoken to him. Okay. Yeah, and um, how much was it? You remember? It better have oh, been like eight hundred bucks. Fuck, I don't remember at all. Was it a lot? No, it, it wasn't was a lot. Well, it's three hours out. It was almost peanuts. Really? Yeah, you should have yeah. bought it. <clears throat> you should have been like those guys in those movies, those Adam Sandler movies. You should have bought the land and kicked the people out. There's only two people that live here. You're out. I yeah. gotta build a condo in a strip mall. <laughs> God damn. Anyways, and, I go, and it goes. You know what? And it goes. That's not the end of it. I saved the best for last. Oh, yeah. I remember this. And I go, <coughs> what's the best for last? Goes, you see those trees over there? I'm like, yes. Behind the trees is a well. I'm like, okay. Well. 
<laughs> because we bottle our own water, sell it like Naya millionaires. <laughs> That's a good plan. We, we bottle it like Naya, sell it millionaires. You know what? I mean, that's a good business plan. You should go to the bank with that one. So at this point, my blood is boiling. Does Why? he think that Naya is like the headquarters are behind a hot dog stand in the in Switzerland? <laughs> <laughs> Where's Naya located? By the La Belle Provence on DeCarri? <laughs> Everyone knows that. <laughs> so, bro, I me, mean, I've had it up to here. But the thing is, the food that I ate, I guess nobody goes and it's kind of old. <laughs> oh, no uh, shit There's no one living bro, there I had to shit Oh it gave you diarrhea Yes Oh this so is a good story the drive back bro, Did you shit in the well Not only Ruin <laughs> Crush your dad's dreams <laughs> No that is my future <laughs> So not only do I have to listen to him on the way back But I'm holding Wait what happened to the well though Did you see this well No Why don't you go take a drink Didn't you tell me he said he felt like it had magical properties Yeah but I'm like where is it I'm like it's somewhere back there Behind the trees Okay, I have a question now. Yeah. I should have asked you a long time ago. Did your dad ever see this well? I don't think so. I'm going to lose my fucking shit. I think shit. he lied to me. <laughs> you know Is what there I think well? happened? I don't think probably, so. Probably those restaurant people just gave him a glass of spring water that they bought at the store. And he was like, this is goddamn delicious. <laughs> and they told him, it yeah. come from magic well in the back. <laughs> really? Yes, you can buy it. Magical bottled water, like Naya, <laughs> be millionaires. <laughs> and the guy and his dad's like, I like the way you think. <laughs> it's so stupid. And uh, and now you have to drive back and you had to take to a shit. Back, I had to take a shit, so I had to hold the whole shit the whole way while listening to him babble on about fucking. Wait, what code was this shit? Was it like a cold blue shit? What's cold blue? Like you really have to go? Yeah, I really had to go. So you held I held a cold blue for two and a half hours. Two and a half hours, bro. Question: yeah. Why didn't you shit in the trailer? There was no bathrooms there. Other question. Yeah. Why didn't you shit in the woods like bears do? Oh, fuck that shit, bro. Why didn't you stop somewhere? Like, there must have been gas stations and stuff on the way down. Why didn't you shit in the car? Especially if you did a, a five-hour car ride, that means you stopped on the way back to put gas. Yeah, you should. But you didn't take a shit. You should have gone to the gas well, station and just shit in the floor. Oh, like everyone else. <laughs> when in Rome. <laughs> no, but I hate gas station bathrooms. Yeah, you're very picky. Yeah. You need to either take a shit in a toilet or on yourself well, during a podcast. <laughs> well, even here, by the way, you know, I have a process. What do you mean? I clean the toilet bowl before I sit. Yeah, I know. And here I have to fill it up with paper. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I clean it. I, even you here. also destroyed that one fucking toilet. What do you mean? And today you tricked me. Because you went knowing that you destroyed that toilet that I never go into. You went and took the one that I normally go into that I haven't destroyed. And I go in there and the toilet seat is broken off. And then I, I'm like, Poseidon, what did you do? Did you destroy the toilet seat? And this is the best. I was like, you, no, I don't well, really. Like he didn't know what excuse to say. So his voice just kept changing. I was like, bro, what are you doing here? Like, do you jump on the toilet seat? Do you kick it? How is that possible? It looked like a Fafun electric bathroom you turned it into. <laughs> what the fuck was that? How do you shit? I'm just curious. Do you jump up and down? Do you take the toilet seat and <laughs> you break it off out of anger? No, but, How is that possible? No, but you know, sometimes, okay, sometimes when you're constipated and you get that little extra turd hanging out from your butthole that won't fall. Uh, no, I don't know what you're talking about, but yeah. even at, why are you breaking the toilet seat? How does that happen? You have to rock back and forth. to. So what? This, is so that what you do? So you're disjointing the toilet seat? <laughs> so you the rock shit, back and forth so the shit, shit So the shit swings because it's stuck to your butthole. And so it swings and so it ploops. You think your body is an old-timey clock? <laughs> no, because the thing is, if you get up and without it, that little bit of poop falling out, and you wipe, there's going to be an endless wipe after. Okay, look, I'm going to tell you something. I don't care about your endless wipe. Maybe you should hydrate a bit more. But stop doing that. That's going to be hard for me to explain the building. What am I going to say? Sorry, uh, my local bear uh, broke the toilet. Because now I can't shit over there. Today was a struggle. It can't move. I thought it was going to fall off the toilet seat. No one. I don't think anyone does that. We should ask the fans if anyone has to rock Back and forth. At the end of a shit. You know who Oh, no, it's not every shit. It's like when you're constipated. Okay. How often are you constipated? Oh, it like every other shit? May no. I suggest more water? I think you don't drink enough water. I think, I think so, too. That sounds like a real problem. The shit is just halfway stuck like that? Yeah, I think I, think I, I never drink, drink water. water, and I've never had shit. Yeah, so like imagine. Just stick to my body. So I don't hydrate well. Something like that. I don't know what it is. 
I mean, I'm, I'm not a scientist. I'm not a doctor. It's just I've never witnessed that in my life. I've never even heard. The only person I could think of rocking back and forth is Guido in a straight jacket. That's the only thing. Yeah. Guido's like the Joker now. That's the only thing I could think of. But you rocking my back and forth. Dog, uh, one of my dogs does that. <laughs> when she's taking a shit. Like she'll take a shit and then I'll see her kind of a rocking back and forth. And then she'll wipe her butt on the grass. Maybe that's what you'd need. That's what he does, like, basically. Just have some grass. Oh no, I wipe my ass like a normal human. But you know, no, but yeah. Well, don't don't lie. But you know, it makes sense that he does that because I was wondering how he cracked off the toilet seat. I thought maybe he was stepping on it or something. But I guess it's because he's fucking pulling it back, rocking back and forth. God damn, dude, you must be like a weird ass house guest. Like if you're sleeping over at somebody's house after, like let's say you sleep over for like a weekend, when you're gone, that house is never the same again. Yeah, you're like a tornado. Oh, it's, it's, it's Toilet seats, doors, everything's no, no, fucked no. up. Everything, everything is fine. Mm, no, because I've yelled at you at my house too. Some stuff you do, like he's very abrupt and aggressive. He'll just, like, you know how normal people sit on couches or chairs. This guy will fly on there, like just let his body go. <laughs> like, dude, what are you doing? Things are flying out. I was like, whoa, what's the problem, bro? Mike <laughs> accidentally almost tore down. You know, you know the, the 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 fan that absorbs the smoke when you're cooking. Yeah, yeah. I almost completely tore it off. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, and I told you from the ceiling. I basically how come. I was a little bit tipsy, and I basically went to lean on it. But I guess I okay. leaned on it with all my weight. Mm. And then I kind of fell on it, and it goes, doom <laughs> And then, like, a bunch of wood and dust fell out. Wood and <laughs> dust. <laughs> and then I had to replace it. But now it's it's not stuck to the cupboard. It's hanging. It, like, very little bit. Like, I have to adjust it every time. Do you wish I give you yeah. mighty glue? I don't think glue is going to help. Yeah. Oh, I have gorilla, gorilla tape. This is what you do. Gorilla tape that shit. Yeah, I'm gonna gorilla tape it. it the gorilla, ta a gorilla tape held my curtains for a couple of months, because you know what I did again? Because I'm too abrupt. And I'm pretty sure that that fan is the same weight as curtains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so if it was strong enough to hold some curtains <laughs> well, no, for a couple use, of months, you know what the best is? Just <laughs> use more gorilla tape. Poseidon's like, yeah, I'm a fucking adult. I got my shit together. He brings a date over. She walks in the house. There's tape holding the <laughs> curtains up. There's tape holding the kitchen fan out. She's like, are you are, are you red green? What the fuck is happening? Why is there tape on everything? He's like, tape it sticks. What am I stupid? I'm gonna pay a hand to man. <laughs> Look, I'm very like uh, abrupt. And like even even when I because what happened with my curtains the, the 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 metal rods when I went to put them up yeah the screws I don't know how I managed to do this I split the screws in half what what <laughs> I split the screws well no, not in half the head of the screw I somehow tried to fuck it snapped it off with the screw oh you just kept turning I, I was screwing. but why did you turn that much that you had to break it off. Because why are you so aggressive? Anger. It's no, I, I, I don't know. I try to be gentle. But well, the uh, the lie detector determined that was a lie. I, no, no, I try. I try. I try. I, I really do. But it just I don't know. It does. It doesn't. I don't know. I was screwing and then the tip just broke off. You have been going out more. You have been going on dates now. You're yeah. trying to reinvent yourself. How has that been going? Reinvent myself. Oh, oh, it's that been going well. Yeah? Yeah. You had two dates this weekend that yeah. I know about. Yeah, I had... Uh, Where are you going? Because everything's closed in Montreal. Well, The mental asylum. <laughs> well, the first girl uh, came over. Uh, oh, like okay. spent the night together. Sweet oh, girl. We had yeah. a good time. And... Uh, and uh, the A other fan? I guess that delay is a yes. All right. Well, not she none of her was stuff. Bef the reason why he's taking time, she was before the date, not so much <laughs> after. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after the date, she's like, wow, I can't even watch that no. show anymore because he's there. And, <laughs> and uh, yeah, she was, uh, she was super fun. Do you think, did she find it weird, not the duct tape, but going into your bathroom? Like, what happened to the toilet seat? <laughs> no, my toilet seat is fine. <laughs> Okay, so you don't yeah, have she home. saw his toilet seat and she was like, oh, imagine what he's going to do to my pussy. <laughs> <laughs> my pussy's going to need some gorilla tape to yeah. stay on. <laughs> That's your excuse. It'll just fall <laughs> off. <laughs> I don't know, but we, I actually, I actually like her. She was uh, really cool. Nice. And, uh, and then the second date was last night. Nice. Uh, Double date. Uh, last night you didn't like her or you liked her too? Uh, I didn't. You didn't like her? But look, she was nice. Was Is she, she a, a communist? Fan? No. What is there not to like, Poseidon? What? 
I, no, I said, I, is she a communist? <laughs> no. Okay, so then. Oh, I see what you mean. I see like, what what's you mean. What's the problem? I get, yeah. I get it. No, 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 I get it. Uh, no, just, I don't know. It wasn't my type. You didn't, she wasn't your type. Yeah. I thought your type was female. That's it. No, I have a. What is your type? The ladies want to know. You know, pretty face. Oh, okay. Uh, slim waist. Right. So she had a Fat nice ass. face <laughs> and a belly. It's good that a guy in your stature has those kind of requests. Because you deserve it, my friend. I work so hard for this body, bro. <laughs> so she had an ugly face, a belly, and no, no, no she ass. wasn't ugly. No, she wasn't ugly, but she wasn't. She just wasn't my uh, type. one to ten. What was she? Ah, shit, not. I Did feel, she I feel was, bad if she listens. You, you oh, yeah, I don't want to talk shit about her, but was she missing the one thing you always wanted? A penis. I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? Was her dick like it was uh, a ugly dick or it was a nice one? No, we we didn't we didn't get to that part. Good. Okay. Mm. I'm glad you didn't so ruin you just the young girl's it, life like, through the jeans. What? <laughs> you just rubbed it like over the jeans? No, we didn't. We didn't get that far. Okay. Good. Uh, so, so I left before the curfew. I love how this guy he has like he's like, look, I walked in there, me, I put so much time in this body. This bitch better be at the gym. This bitch better be. <laughs> no, 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 no. The, the look, a, a extra cushion for the pushing. I don't mind it. I don't mind a few extra because I'm fat myself. Really? Yeah. Huh. I don't know if people notice, uh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. She, she wasn't. Uh, she wasn't my type. It, was she French? Yeah. You don't like French people? Was she no, a fan? The, the other girl was French too. Was she, was the second one a fan or no? Yeah. Not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. Yeah. Definitely not anymore. Yeah. Look at him. He's, he's so he's so awkward. Did because you, I don't so know. You, I, it's because she was very sweet. That's what we're saying. We're not. We're not yeah, against no, no, no. her. We're with her. We're against you. Oh, okay. Did you fuck her? Or no. <laughs> we're no, not I on didn't. your team. We're on her team. No, I didn't. I didn't yeah. uh, have sex with this one. Uh, yeah. No. You sound like an asshole. We're on her team. We're not on your what team. Why is that like an team? asshole? She. Uh, she wasn't my type. So wait, hold on. Hold May on. I got some standards because you went there, so you knew her. Yeah. yeah you I saw a picture of yeah. her right before you drove there. Yeah. Exactly. With your devil music. With your fucking devil. You're just being an asshole. You're going to people's house. How am I an asshole? Hey, you know what? Now that I've seen you, you're not good enough. Not good enough. You're lucky yeah. she didn't slap you. What? Yeah. So hold on. Girl power, bro. When women say uh, he's too short. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, I get I'm with you. I, I'm, uh, that's also. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going listen, this is revenge listen. for all my short kings. Hold on. Listen. <laughs> that also, I'm with you, is unacceptable. Yeah. But you went. You met her. And then you're like, you know what? Now, I don't uh, like it. Uh. It seems rude. How is that rude? We had a date. We hung out. Yeah. We drank some white wine. Nice. We chatted. Uh, had a couple of conversations. Was the conversation, is that what did it for you? There was something you didn't like? Uh, no, I'm not a good talker. And uh, Maybe that ruined it? I, I guess she confused <laughs> me a little bit. You know what I mean? I'm she not asked a me, good talker. She asked me way too many questions and it threw me off a little bit and I got a little nervous and I dipped. It's like, hey, what do like, you... Like what? Well, what did she ask you that made you nervous? No, it was a joke. What do you think of a vaccine passport? He's like, what the fuck's a passport? Yeah. <laughs> just, why are you asking me? Like, I'm not a scientist. What, what is that? <laughs> no, no, she was, uh, no, no, she was very sweet, and but she has kids and shit. That's oh, that's what's, okay, so oh, don't talk shit about her, bro. And then at some point. Just I say that. You don't have to talk. Because you, you made it sound like she was a goblin. Okay. No, no, I, I heard the kids playing. I don't know. And was, that fuck with your head. It was oh, weird. Oh, that's normal. If you tell <laughs> that, she could understand that. Yeah, okay. That's you why you have to be vocal. Because okay, if you're you not, people, you're gonna. She's gonna develop a complex thinking she has a problem or something. Ah, uh, yes. No, just but she has that. no problem. No, no, she was No, no, but just, no, I'm seeing she would see this. Be honest. Tell people okay, that. Okay. Yeah, be honest. That's a, that's not a problem as long as you're honest. It's not okay because I thought the kids no, thing was rude. No, it's not. No, no. If you let her know, oh look, this happened and it bothered me. That's fine. Yeah. She's an adult. Okay. It's when you don't tell her like something I didn't like. I have standards. You, she's gonna think, am I fat? Am I ugly? Am I too skinny? Am I too yeah. this? So you fuck with her head. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah, be yeah, honest, she, bro. Don't use this passive aggressive. It's not. Be it's a just, man. I'm worried about uh, fucking be a man. Uh, hurting so people's what? feelings. But you were hurt feelings more if you made her think that she's she's retarded or something. What Touché. fucked you up yeah. is hearing little kids having fun. You're like, what's that sound? <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard that before. Children that are happy. <laughs> I had a miserable child. <laughs> No, but, but I mean, it could have been worse. He could have been like, "What's that sex?" I mean, like, like, look, it would have been weird for me if, 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 if like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then she's like, "Oh, Qua? 
I don't know. It would have been weird for me if like if like the kids are in the other room and in the other room I'm banging their mom. I don't know. It would have been weird. That's fine. You could tell her. She'll, she'll, she'll laugh. She'll get it. She'll yeah, look like, yeah, okay, yeah. I get it. That's fine. But don't make her feel it. Because you make people develop a complex like that. Yeah. Because eh? a lot of people do that to yeah. women. Yeah. No, it wasn't my intention though to develop oh, There you go. You see, we had to push into it. Yeah. Yeah. And and, and it was weird. Uh, that was really weird. Like the weirdest situation. Remember that girl from Tinder? She was also French. And that uh, basically Good. I was banging her and her brother came home. Oh, in uh, Far Away. It was also in the Depensigny. Oh, that's where it was. The R. This was, uh, this was a, a nice uh, area. Yeah, her dad walked in. Uh, her dad, her brother walked in on you banging her, and yeah. then he was just like, "All right, bro, high five, good job." Yeah, no, he was like, oh, "Oh, okay, I guess you're keep, banging or whatever." Keep banging my sister. <laughs> and I was like, "I was like, this is so strange." The fact that he didn't join in. No, no, yeah. the fact that I don't know. You're like, you I came to the oh, no, first. The fuck, your brother. No, the door opened, and uh, I was like, "Yo, her parents weren't uh, <gasps> weren't there." I'm like, "Yo, what the fuck? Her parents are home." This was years ago, though. I was like 22. And I'm like, she's like, no, no, it's my brother. He probably finished work. I'm like, oh, okay, we should stop, you know, be respectful. She's like, nah, continue. <laughs> I was like, what? Are you yeah, yeah. when he fucks me, he makes noise. She's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, continue. I, it's not like I'm going to make any noise anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize you were in me this whole time. So. <laughs> Have we been fucking? <laughs> I thought you were doing some kind of exercise. Yeah. I didn't want to. I didn't want to disturb. <laughs> you look like you're really into it. And uh, yeah, so that already was weird. And I'm like, yeah, that is weird too. But yeah. okay, but I'm glad we got to the bottom of this because that lady would have been watching this and be like, what the fuck's wrong with me? <laughs> no, no, nothing's wrong with her. She's, yeah, uh, okay, that's good then. You see, it took us a while to get to that point because yeah, I wasn't sure like if I would if it was rude me saying that. Yeah, it's it is rude, but... Wait, it's it, rude, but it's not as rude as you calling her almost a goblin. Yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't call her a goblin. I'd rather... If I had kids, I'd rather a guy be like, I don't I don't want to date someone with kids. Like, if I was a woman, I'd rather that than a guy going, ah, you're ugly. Yeah, I have standards. I like a chick <laughs> with a no belly and a fat ass. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going home. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm going home. He's shaking his butt as he walks out. <laughs> yes. Oh, let's look at the chat. Well, no, never pay attention to the chat because you get too confused. And then they, they, they get into your head and they fuck with yeah, you. They don't get in my head. Which is fun and for it, us, but yeah. not I find fun it, for you. No, because it's funny sometimes, the chat. They attack you. I know. They are vicious with you. I know, they are very It is vicious. hilarious to me. I know. I try to avoid it so that you surprise me with your with your anger. <laughs> but sometimes, sometimes they're nice to you. Yeah. But all it takes is you being a dick to one person. And you lost them. <laughs> they, <laughs> they, fuck, they switch teams on you so fast. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Fucking traitors. <laughs> it's the Poseidon's relationship with the fans is the funniest thing in the world. They're like, yeah, go Poseidon. And then Poseidon's like, yeah, I went on a date with this girl. I thought she was ugly. You're a fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> They're traitors, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they just turn on him right away. It's the funniest thing. It's like, he tries so hard. He's like, God oh, damn, I lost him. Yeah, because you're a dick. <laughs> So how many fans have you fucked so far? It's a lot, actually. You know what? Good for good yeah. on him. You've Yeah. You've ruined our fan base. No, I haven't. Yeah. Well. They all had a good time. Yeah, but they didn't stay fans. We don't know that. I am assuming. <laughs> I am assuming. We don't know that. They don't want to watch you ever again. They don't want to see you ever again. <laughs> we don't know it as a fact. I'm going on a limb if I was a betting well, man. Actually, no. So some of them have stayed because I've seen them comment. Get the fuck out of here. What do they say? Fuck this asshole. Uh, one of them, I think, was trying to get me jealous by complimenting you. Good. Then, God damn uh, right. You tell him how much cooler I am. And then one put uh, <laughs> Poseidon with hard eyes. Oh, so she's still down with you. Yeah, she's still down oh, with you. Oh, yeah. Sure. But I, I, I was... Uh, Someone's going to comment, I should have fucked the French one. <laughs> 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 Mike's like, I'm married and busy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. And uh, yeah. All right. Uh, have a good time. You know, go cool. have wine, chill. You, is that your MO now? You just bring wine to chicks' just houses? bring wine and we have wine. Do you bring like the that. wine or you show up and they have wine? I bring the wine. That's good. Okay. I like bringing it. I like, like bringing grocery it. store wine or uh, no, liquor store. I, it wine. depends. It depends on my mood, or if okay. I'm in a hurry or not. I've noticed the uh, the more hurry I'm in, I will get like gas station wine. But if I'm not in a hurry, I take my time. I go to the sack. I usually get something that like the bottle is a little matte or it sounds fancy. What? Okay. what do you mean sounds fancy. Sounds fancy. Like what does that mean? How does a bottle like sound one? fancy? You start touching it, ding. No, well, zing. like there's some bottles that are like matte black and shit. <gasps> Sorry. Like there's one that I really like. It's uh, called Amarone. It's a Say that again. Amarone. Yeah, but that that's red wine though. Yeah, red wine. It's like a Spanish yeah. wine. It's, it's, it's Italian. Like... Amarone. It is? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or Portuguese. It's, uh, I, I don't know. Amarone Montrezar. I love oh, how. Oh, it's Italian. Oh, okay. It I love how he says. <laughs> Mike Converse like, it's Italian. And you're like, yeah, or Portuguese. <laughs> like, he just told you it's Italian. You're like, yeah, or the other Italians, the Portuguese. <laughs> Whatever, right? Anything West from Greece is You know, Italian. the deaf Spanish people, the Portuguese. <laughs> like, such a weird thing to say. He confirmed it's Italian. <laughs> and you're still pushing it. Oh, uh, shit. And, uh, and yeah, yeah. Something and then like you show up all slick that and stuff. That is good wine, though. No. Yeah, he likes that. Mm. And then the shiver say, I told you we're having fish. And then you're like, yeah, I thought that was a euphemism for me going down on you. I didn't, really <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't think this through. So when you have time, you get them good wine. Yeah. If I'm in a hurry, I'll just stop anywhere and grab something quick. Do you ever find yourself being the wine? What do you mean? Like, do you show up there and you're just like, eh, I can't take work anymore. Eh, it's stressful. It's very far away. Oh, that's a, no. It's just you whining. <laughs> it's like, this isn't what I meant by bring the wine. No. <laughs> do, you, do you ask them? Oh, yeah, you always. ask the woman uh, if she drinks red or white? Yeah. Okay. Red or white. And then you get the opposite? No, or sometimes I'll be like, uh, I'll just buy it and be like, I got a red wine. Okay. What do your six kids drink? Do you ever ask her that? <laughs> no. Well, I didn't know she had kids. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that must have been a fun surprise. Yeah. I remember years ago I had fun surprises like that. Yeah. I was like, uh, but she, she had written it in like a text fast, fast. I wasn't sure. She's like, I have to pick up the boys. But like, yeah, yo, this bitch is getting rammed. I'm like, that can mean anything, right? Wait, hold on. I thought she was talking about her nuts. I, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> hold she, on a second. Maybe she's talking this about is not a guy. Boys. This is a woman texting you. Yo, I got to pick up the boys. And you're like, yo, she's just down with the homies. No, I don't know. I don't know what she meant. Yeah. Maybe it's her cousins or she brothers. She might I don't be know. a gangbang. No, yeah. I don't know. I don't know, bro. Maybe she's in the crips or whatever. Yeah. I don't know. You're like, yo, she's got to do a drive-by. I like this woman. <laughs> she's working 24-7. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. And then I got there and we were conversing. And then, and then the boys were like, get away from my mother. And I'm like, uh. I'm like, what did you mean by the boys? She's like, I have boys, I have kids. I was like, oh, okay. How old are they? I have no clue. Oh, she you told didn't me actually, ask? but I don't remember. She told me. Did but I don't you remember. ask them? No, she told me, but I don't remember. Okay. Yeah. And did she tell you I have boys, and then you didn't answer? Because generally, people go, I have two kids. Then you ask, how old are they? But she said, I have two kids, and then you just stared. <laughs> and then she was like, uh, oh, there's seven and nine. And he blankly stares. Uh, like, I don't fucking care. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what you think. Like, I'm not here to can, fuck them. Can, <laughs> uh, no, I probably said something down, along the lines of, that's nice. Mike, okay. oh, that's cool. imagine you're in her shoes. Yeah, I have two boys and him. He's just like, that's nice. <laughs> what are you, Pee Wee Herman? What, what? I'd kick you out of my house. I'd be like, this guy's going to try to fuck my boys. I, I'd kick you out of my fucking house. Man. That's so weird. That's nice. <laughs> Do they like to play in the dock? That's nice. That's so that's so weird. Like I'm paraphrasing here. I'm paraphrasing myself. What, what, what did you what did you say? That's nice. <laughs> I don't know. I was in French, so I don't know. I said, oh, oh. I like that's cool or whatever. Oh, in French. Did yeah. you speak in French the whole time? No. Give us some of your French seduction lines. I didn't really have any seduction lines. What's your general seduction line in French? What do you say? Hey. Oh, okay. Like the one from Quebec City when I had went to go get the paintings. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I had the heat cranked up to the max, but it wasn't that let's, cold let's out. Get, let's make it hot. It wasn't that cold out, right? And then like, uh, and then and then basically I'm like, oh fuck, it's really hot in here. Eh? And then she's like, yeah. I'm like, uh, oh, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to remember something with the heating. I'm like, uh, oh no, it's actually not that, uh, not that high up. I guess it's just you or something. Like, cause I was flustered. I was red. Yeah, and she you told know? you you're flustered. It's it's no. not that hot. It's just my balls no, are no. really sweaty. No, no, I had told her like my face is red. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, it's not it's not the heating. I, I have eczema. I, I think it's just you or something. <laughs> something along the line. I said it in French. I said it in French. I have high blood pressure. <laughs> why are you bringing it up? <laughs> I, I had said something along those lines, like it's you that's sexy. That's why I'm all flustered. And she was like, "Oh, God, uh, how'd you say that in French?" Ah, oh, c'est juste toi qui qui est sexy. C'est pour ça, je suis rouge. Uh, comme Did ça. you say, "Hey, c'est toi qui sexy"? <laughs> <laughs> you should have used the accent. I don't like talking about my dating life. It makes me say, say, "Hey, c'est toi qui sexy." Hey, c'est toi qui sexy. I would throw you out of the car. I was driving. <laughs> I don't think I said that. <laughs> Bitch ain't getting away. <laughs> Fucking power locks. Try me. Uh, this bitch is childproof. No, try I, me. I always try to be a do gentleman. You do, 
Do you do the same thing with chicks in your car that you do with your dad? They get in, you're like, don't talk. We're in the car. I'm listening to my music. <laughs> no, usually I ask what kind of music you like. Do you like this? Okay. Bada beep, bada boop. I have Spotify, so I'll just any playlist, any favorite playlist. Do you ever ask girls? I'm just curious. Do you ever ask like, hey, uh, what do you want to listen to tonight? Uh, no, every time we get to my place, it's always the weekend. So you've taken a page out of my book? Of course. Right. It works every time. <laughs> <laughs> I taught you this years ago. It works ago. every time, bro. I love it. It's the best. I've the given you too many tricks. Bro, it's the best. You're, be, you're going to become it. a super villain. <laughs> they love the weekend. I know. I just play it and things happen. It's beautiful. <laughs> you know, when I met at 23, I had said something awkward. I told you. Right? I go, oh, you know, I'm from Canada too, whatever. And I go, you know how many chicks I've banged to your music? <laughs> and it just made it awkward. And I was like, fuck, why did I say that? Bro? Why? <laughs> I banged a lot of women to his music too. Bro, yeah, but I, it, it was one of those moments where you think he's going to be like, oh, cool. He's like, huh. <laughs> I was like, this is why? Man, why why did that come out? It's it's the best. It's the best. They they love it. Even yeah. girls that don't listen to the weekend on a regular basis. Girls that just love the weekday. That work nine to five <laughs> still like the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you know. I, uh, we should uh, dress me up like the weekend and call me the weekday. <laughs> <laughs> You're the month. The low budget. <laughs> You're the whole month. Is the is the <laughs> I'm the end. <laughs> I'm the beginning of the month. Rent is due. Mike Poseidon is gonna <laughs> is gonna end a date by, can I use your toilet? And then he's taking the clothes with him. Why are you taking your clothes? You have to. You see what I'm doing there. You won't want me around. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, get on Amazon, order a new seat. I'm telling you, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> God damn. No, but we have a good like that. I I had a very good time with a girl uh, on Saturday. Really? Yeah. Do you think she might be the one? I really no. Uh. <laughs> but and by the one he means the one that doesn't get syphilis. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe she's have, immune. I don't have syphilis. Mm. That's the attitude. That's the kind of attitude you got. Yeah, have. that's a that's a go getter attitude yeah. that, that's gonna get you out of this fucking. No, no, but, if uh, you believe the lie, is it really a lie? But I, 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 had, a, I had a really good time with her. She was cool, down to earth. We hung out. I like this. Yeah. You she, gonna see we, her we, again? We, yes, definitely. Oh, he's very excited. Yeah, yeah, Does like Annabelle know about nice. this? Yeah, Even this year, does, I mean, when your girlfriend <laughs> finds out, that's going to ruin the podcast. Tomorrow, if Annabelle's watching, tomorrow the podcast <laughs> is going to be awkward. They're going to have a guest, and it's going to be like, hey, and then she's going to be like, yeah, yeah, ask the quest question, huh? Uh, let me ask you a question. What you do Saturday? <laughs> I fuck. Who is this put? <laughs> Who is this put, Poseidon? You tell me. <laughs> no, but, uh, is this a working girl? Or, or she's not a prostitute? No, she's not a prostitute. No, no, no. no. She's, uh, okay. she's a student, actually, uh, in Quebec City. That's okay. not that's not McGill. Oh, so you went down to Quebec City no, or she did came. she come up? Oh yeah. and, travel. Um, and uh yeah, she's she's breaking student. quarantine rules for this dick. I like it. Uh, uh yeah. So she's studying. Smart girl. Uh if you want to well, borrow that's debatable. my house, hey, my man. country house <laughs> that's close to Quebec City. Listen to what he's telling you. I, I can loan you the house. It's fucking nice. It's right on the on the St. Lawrence River. Do you need your toilet seat? <laughs> Yeah, if you can shit in the river, that'd be, <laughs> that'd be good for me. Uh, so you said she's smart? Uh, smart, you know. Well, this sweet. decision is, is the only questionable thing about this, but go on. Calm. She, she's, uh, she's in school, uh, high school or, or elementary school? No, no, school. university. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a surprise. That's, I didn't see that. Uh, university, that's an M. my dear Watson. <laughs> yeah, that's an M. Night Shyamalan twist. <laughs> yeah. There was one. God damn it. <laughs> 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 what's, she, what's she studying to be? Uh, pregnant, <laughs> uh, sexologist. Don't lie. I swear to God, she's studying in psychology. Oh, I thought you said sexology. No, that that too. Like she wants to help. Um, like she wants to work into the field where they try to uh, help. Uh, in the field where they try to bottle <laughs> water. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving too much away. I don't want to give too much away. Uh, oh, yeah. you think someone's gonna narrow it down? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, because I want to keep that uh, private. What's her address and name? Actually, I don't know her address. <laughs> well, yeah, in what field? So, sexologist. Yeah, she wants to help. Do you think help. you were like an experiment? Does she want to help the less fortunate or the no, no, no. severely like, like mentally she, impaired have she, sex? She, she's actually a really sweet girl. Like, she uh, she does, um, how do we call benevol in English? Volunteer. She uh, does volunteer yeah. work for people, you know, uh, I think it's a suicide hotline. Oh, you see that? I don't um, know her. I already like her. Very sweet girl. Yeah. So, you know, so she'll, she does that volunteer work for that, tries to help people because, you know, during these times, just uh, nice stuff like that. She's studying, like yeah, she helps uh, victims of uh, sex abuse and stuff like that. 
You know, we could use it for ah, something. She's a good person. Yeah, hey, yeah Mike. She's, she's a very sweet girl. I really. I got an idea how yeah. we could use her. Connect her with Mike's Amazon delivery guy. Get him to, yeah. s- to not kill himself. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah he should call that hotline. Yeah. 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 She should actually order something from Amazon <laughs> and then just fucking hope it's him. Yeah. just She she can't show us, uh, her tits, though, because uh, he's going to fucking off himself. <laughs> yeah, he's going to lose his mind. Is he, do you think he's mad, Mike, because he's not getting the tits shown to him? Uh, I don't know. He was just a weirdo. That's the thing that makes the most sense. I love that's that he so knew weird. you, though. He watches all the shows. He's like, yo, your buddy. <laughs> like, this is just the Amazon delivery guy. He comes up to you randomly. Yeah. Like, you know your buddy? You're like, yeah, he's my buddy. I know him. Yeah, I saw some tits there. That's why I want to kill myself. <laughs> like, what do I do with this information? Yeah. Well, what do you want me to do with this? What can I yeah. say? Did you laugh? I, I, I just, I was like, what? And then he left. And, like, I didn't even, <laughs> I wanted to tell him, why are you telling me that? But I didn't even have time. I was just like, what? It's just I'm thinking of you with your face. Yeah. What? Yeah. That's fucking bizarre. Later, Mike. I love you. Fuck yeah. your friend. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been amazing if if uh, he uh, he wrote on my package, "I love you." Yeah. <laughs> you you're the only guy that makes me want to live. Fuck. But oh. people do love you, by the way. Yeah. Oh. But, yeah. I have the best fans in the world. Insane. The shit I've heard about yeah, you this I week. I fucking like, love my fans. Dude, there's something else. I told you, you are the real prime minister. Yeah. And I just want to apologize to all my fans that a, a creepy Greek giant is going around fucking them. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then fucking breaking their hearts just because they have kids. <laughs> He's breaking hearts and toilet seats all around the province. He's breaking hearts and toilet seats. Exactly. Yeah, look at this. Like, yeah. Yo, call me. You're going to run out of semen. You're going to run out of semen. I'm always showing my dick size. I had though. No. <laughs> like, I, I was talking to a... Uh, I'm showing my dick size. Like, <laughs> doesn't mean what you think it means. Yeah, I was talking to a guy. Uh, actually, I had this conversation with two people last week about my fans. Okay. That uh, the how fucking intense they are if someone doesn't like me. <laughs> and I, he, it, like one guy was like, "They're fucking insane." I've seen your fans like destroy people just for talking shit about you. Yeah. And I was like, "Yeah, that well, that's what fans do." And then I realized that most fans don't do that. And I was like, "Oh shit." I should be really grateful for what I have. I, I dude, I fucking love it. I love the, this entire universe that mm-hmm. is being built. I, because I remember on Twitter sometimes I'll get into fights, and then the fans get into it and they start fucking with the person. Yeah. And then I get messages like, Yo, "Your fans are fucking crazy." Well, that's why you don't fuck yeah. around. <laughs> that's yeah. why you don't fuck around. <laughs> these are not don't even these are not weekend fans, bro. They they, yeah. they don't yeah. fuck around. <laughs> like I don't even if someone <clears throat> talks shit about me, I don't even really answer. Back, because I know that my fans are gonna take care destroy of destroy them. Yeah, yeah. This is a cult. I want you to know something. Yeah, this is a goddamn religion at this fucking point. Don't play yeah. games. We're extremists around here. <laughs> Don't fuck exactly. around. Excuse me, bro. <laughs> Since when did we join ISIS? It is kind of culty. We do some cult yeah. stuff. Yeah, I, I, think I, about it. It's a ritual. You know what time the show's gonna be on. We're on there. You enjoy the energy. Then you tell your friends, listen to this. You occasionally sacrifice a human being while watching us. It's like a it's like a cult. Like a cult. Well, and technically, isn't the world made out of different cults? It is. It is. Everything's culty. That's it. No. We're just a different type of cult. We're the... Um, We're the cult of personality. I see. Yeah. But everything's kind of culty. Politics are culty. Yeah. That's my guy. That's my guy. Yeah. You know, your guy raped kids. Still my guy. Yeah. Still, yeah, it's just they're, it's culty. Apple. Apple is super Apple is a cult. Oh Mike Apple's God. a cult. Bro, it's so creepy yeah. too. The way they, like, because I did an interview once with Apple and I didn't realize halfway through the interview I had a mustard stain on my shirt. So I definitely didn't get it. I wasn't like clean, you know? Oh, no. <laughs> You're but too it, dirty to join Apple. And I had to do like a presentation and I realized. You do a presentation. Yeah, you had what to a bunch do, of assholes. You had to do a presentation in front of everyone about the Apple products, but I hate Apple products. <laughs> Yo, so we got the the iPhone <coughs> and the other one. <laughs> yeah, I had an iPod Nano as a kid, bro, as a teenager. So you had to do a presentation for them. Yeah. Don't and they then, know their product already? And then as I looked down, yeah. I realized the mustard stain on my shirt, and I got super nervous and fucked it up. <laughs> and then you got hired by BlackBerry. <laughs> <laughs> this guy looks like a go-getter. Clearly he was eating on the go. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> Never stops working. Yeah. See, I fucking I I even like I uh, I have a iPhone 
and I fucking hate Apple. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, like I hate. hate I hate everything that that company stands for. And I hate how in the old days they used to make it feel like uh, Apple was like like uh, Bill Gates was a piece of shit. But uh, Steve Jobs was this fucking, you know, hero hero. And then you're like, but your fucking hero is a f- asshole that charges like seven times more than what the shit is actually worth. And it's all little. Well, I guess. All computer companies, it's little kids making the products. But yeah. at least we know that Microsoft were dicks. Like, I, at least we, like, Bill Gates is open about his disgust towards the third world. Mm. Whereas Jobs <laughs> hid it better. Apple hides it better. Yeah. They pretend that they care. Bill Gates doesn't pretend. He goes <laughs> to the countries and he goes, they're full of shit, which is why I'm going to turn into water and drink it. Because all you people have here is shit. <laughs> and, and no one's like... That's a that's a little rude, Bill. He's like, shut <laughs> shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up, Patel. I'm gonna turn this shit and make it. Do you remember when he did that video where he drank the, yeah, the water? Yeah, he drank the shit. It's like that's damn, bro. fucking. That's going balls deep <laughs> into your idea. Should I bring it up? Because no, we get it. He's I, drinking water. We know been, that shit. I would have been like, yeah, you guys can trust me. This definitely water. Hey, uh, little kid, come come drink the <laughs> yeah. I'm Watch gonna I'm gonna go wait in my Bentley. Yeah, he's just drinking. He's like, your shit is delicious. I, if I was there, I'd be yeah. like, is this not awkward? Why is this guy drinking our yeah. shit? <laughs> hey, American computer guy, why are you drinking our shit? That's where I get my power from. <laughs> imagine, yeah. imagine, bro, being like, I don't know, from like a village in the third world. And like, you don't have much access to education and shit. Is it, do, and, you and, sure you don't want to build us a well or have pipelines to the mm-hmm. rivers so we can get water? He's like, no, no, no. You just drink your filthy shit, you animals. <laughs> it's hold fucking on. crazy. And hold on. And you're watching this whole contraption, bro. And he just plops poop on one end and water comes out the, uh, the other yeah. end. Like, can you imagine? Yeah. It's <laughs> like a <laughs> Willy Wonka type of situation. Yeah. He's like, come here, kid. Yeah. Take a shit over there. It's going in. He's like, oh, yeah. It's me just swinging back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> and you're, you're telling your friend, you're like, should we tell him that we have running water? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been amazing. Oh, shit. It's a little tangy, but it'll do. It's got it's kind of a little twang to it. <laughs> but, th- you know, people try to be extra. Yeah. Like Poseidon does. He tries to be extra instead of going the simple route. It's like, you know, you have so much money. I'm very we could, extra. You know, we could put pipes, river, give them running water, all that. He's like, fuck that shit. We're eating poop. <laughs> what, and when, like, I'm not a scientist, uh, I'm not a scientist, but wouldn't transforming piss into water be way easier than shit? You'd think that, Mike, but I, yeah. I mean. The place apparently was covered in shit. Okay. <laughs> He's like, look, you got to work with the tools you got. And right now I got shit. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. He's trying to change that expression when the world gives you lemon. Lemons make lemonade. <laughs> and he's like, when the world gives you shit, make water. God. That makes sense. We, we say the lemon one, but in 100 years, the saying has changed. And everybody <laughs> just knows. Like, yeah, you know, when the world gives you shit, you make water. But it makes sense yeah. to them in the future. There is an <laughs> alternate saying to that. It's uh, It goes like this that I discovered. I really liked it. A psychotic drowns. In the waters that the mystic swims in. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> Are you fucked in the head? <laughs> I forgot who. who, who that said sounds that. like something that someone gets tattooed before they murder their family. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. Chris That's Benoit a, said that. No, just yeah. another way of saying it. It's just a, <laughs> that, it's a, it, that was the only thing written on Chris Benoit's it, note. It's a fancy way yeah. of saying when life gives you lemons. Make it's a lemonade. fancy way. You yes. it's a crazy way. Fancy way. I, I saw it's it as a fancy. Crazy way. It's you could have said the goblin shark eats the table before swimming in the ocean, and it would have meant the same thing. <laughs> that you're nuts. <laughs> That's a suicide letter. <laughs> That's a fucking suicide note. That's crazy, dude. God damn. God damn. Everyone that calls your your the girl you dated says that to her on the phone. What, what, what? The suicide hotline. They all say the that. The suicide hotline chick. Everyone, when they call her, that's what they say. I, I doubt. By the way, if you're actually contemplating suicide, don't fucking do it. Call one of these yeah. hotlines. You might even talk to this girlfriend. Don't yeah. fucking do it. It gets better. It actually does. It yeah. gets better. Just yeah. you find yourself in like a dark place or whatever. Go to the hotlines. Call a friend. 
fucking tweet Poseidon. Yeah. Do that kind of stuff. Like, get out there. Don't let the darkness consume you. Yes. Uh, Bell only talks about it once a year, but it is a uh, 365 days a year issue, well, especially now with the whole COVID and all that. People and are depressed. People are stressed. It's a shitty time. Like, it's, no. it's not just you. Yeah. It's yeah. most everyone around you. Don't fucking take it personally. Reach out. Don't yeah. suffer alone, everything. All jokes aside, yeah. trust me, do that shit. You, you won't regret it because you only live once. You might yeah. feel like it's, you don't get any take backs. You don't get any do overs. So don't fuck yeah. it up. Just call someone, watch this show, fucking yeah. tweet at us. We'll make yeah. fun of you. Yeah. Message uh, me, DM me if you're feeling down. I'm yeah, 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 don't fucking let that shit consume you for real though. Because I know a lot of people, I've gotten messages about shit like that. So don't, it's super rampant. Like I didn't yeah. realize how rampant it was until the last yeah. year, year and a half. Yeah. Uh, so you're not alone. Don't, don't fuck around. Did I tell you, like, I, I was reading a thing that suicide is is now the number one cause of death of kids that are 11 years old. Wow. Kids? Like, little what? kids are killing themselves. How many parents are you visiting? Jesus. How many single moms <laughs> oh, are God, you? God. <laughs> 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 no, but fun fact also about uh, suicide, I read somewhere that... Um, fun fact, huh? Well, fun fun, fact. it's not really a fun fact, but... People who have survived suicide attempts, the moment they either jump... Yeah, they regret it. The, uh, yeah, that, yeah, it's not the best idea, but hold on. I don't know why you said fun fact and you're like, this is happy. Fun you just talk about kids killing themselves. Oh, no, no. It's a weird segue. Uh, it's a fact. Sorry. It's a regular fact. Though. Kids sorry. are killing Sad. themselves. No, no. Other good news. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> it just, I, I, look, I'm sorry. I'm used to saying fun fact. Fun fact. When the body dies, it decomposes and uh, stuff can grow. Yeah, from it. yeah. yeah he's yeah. like, it's a circle of life, Lion King. That's crazy. Uh, Wait, so, why are kids uh, doing that? That's fucked up, dude. No. You're, yeah. Yeah, Michel told me that because his, his son is, uh, uh, I guess, 10 or 11, and he learned that in school. They, they taught the kids that in school, which is a weird thing to give a little kid that's a little sad the, thought. the idea of, hey, you can fucking just end this. Jesus Christ. That's a, yeah, schools are fucking yeah. getting weird. Yeah. The fuck? So, which schools are recommending children? No, 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 like, uh, whenever I'd be sad, I'd be like, ah, fuck, I can't commit suicide. I'll go to hell. But now, since no one believes in heaven and hell anymore, yeah, we have to find new ways to... Of, uh, get them, deter them? Yeah. yeah. May yeah, I say, just, just through... say the truth. Just say the truth. Because a lot of people, apparently, they, they thought... Everybody thinks it's just them. Yeah. So then they're like, I'm alone. I'm fucked up. I'm going to do this. It's 100% not. That's why they have all this stuff. Bell, let's talk. But they only talk about it once yeah. a year. Yeah. So then people are scared. To come out with it, like, oh, they're gonna think I'm yeah. weird. Most people around you have fucked up thoughts, are feeling depressed, and that it's just they don't talk about it. So we're talking about it now. I don't give a fuck. I'm not. I'm not ashamed. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it happens to everyone. You have these thoughts. Yeah. Just know that it's not just you, and fucking go out there and talk about it. Don't don't yeah. end it. There's no continues. Don't end it. Enjoy this thing that we have. It's fucked up. And I get it, but it's, it's the only a, one we got. It's a permanent solution to a temporary problem. No. That's the that's the best thing. Yeah. Yeah. Whenever, when, no matter how shitty you think your life is right now, it will get better. Mm. It will. And yeah. it's not, it might it might get better. It definitely will it, get better. Yeah, and most of the times you're going to make it better too. You're going to see it's, it's yeah. just nothing happens overnight. You know, it's no. just, yeah, yeah. But don't, look at us. We're telling you this. We fuck around all the time, but now we're actually yeah. giving you a goddamn serious message. Yeah. 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 Don't yeah. fucking do it. I, and we're all human. Like, uh, I've called you a few times, stressed out. Yeah, you know depressed. I mean? Like, a lot of people, actually, a lot of people fucking call me. Yeah. Um, and I have no fucking problem with it. It's, uh, it is what it is. Like, that's the, the reason why that happens is because it's so rampant. It's yeah. not an isolated. Uh, incident yeah. yeah especially during these times curfew everyone's locked in even before so now it's yeah. even worse yeah. so yeah having said that if you yeah. want a good time though you can go out now you can go out some places for example mike if you get to the website and you like french podcasts and you speak french mike ward has coincidentally the number one french language comedy podcast on the planet that's mike ward who's a good head over to patreon.com slash who's a good but also if you're a member of the patreon make sure you're aware of when mike puts up tickets on sale for the live podcast you could go out there and enjoy it. You get to laugh with him and other comedians. It's a great time. You get to go to the Bordell, the best comedy mm -hmm. club we have around here. So it's a good time. MikeWard.ca is the website. You can get yep. all of Mike Ward's tour dates. He's back on tour, this son of a bitch. So you can go out and watch him and laugh. Maybe get a photo later from a distance. Mm. Am I right, Mike? Uh, yeah. 
definitely. Uh, fr- from uh, we we don't take pictures anymore because they won't let us. Can but, they take uh, pictures of you? I would take pictures of they you. They could take pictures of me. Okay, I'm yeah. down with that. Or or just uh uh yeah, just come see the show and then uh, come meet me in the parking lot. And yeah. then yell at me from far. <laughs> yell racial epithets. And yeah, if you just... do like people who yell racial epithets, you're going to love this next guy, Poseidon. He's on Twitch making kids want to kill themselves. Twitch.tv slash the Poseidon69. He plays video games with a lot of children and he yells at them. It's a lot of fun because they generally beat him at these games. Yeah. It'll be fun and for you to watch. The, oh, the only time that he tolerates children. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when he's yelling at them. It's when he's yelling at them. You know, you know what's funny? Every time I kill them and I hear them on the hot mic, I go, ha, 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 loser. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine when he was at that girl's house. He laughs, and when the kid comes in, hey, I know that voice. <laughs> <laughs> I recognize you. Wild Boar 69 is you. <laughs> he's like, oh shit. <laughs> Goblin Killer 57. <laughs> but yeah, so check him out. Also, he's got a, a good podcast, one in English, one in French, In Beth Poseidon and, and Annabelle Lebet. Uh, both mm-hmm. Patreon exclusives for the video, but both audio podcasts come out a week late on Spotify and wherever the hell you get your podcasts. Check that out. Patreon.com slash Pantels. Pantels Comedy, uh, PantelsComedy.com for all of my stuff. Podcasts online. We have so much content. Just remember, for real though, anything's fucked up with you, it'll get better. Yes. Watch and, us laugh. Uh, OnlyFans.com slash 2DM starting <laughs> next week. We're going to do that, yeah. Yeah. And tr- trust me, if nobody else loves you, you know we do. Go fuck yourselves.